In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get the counter bore and counter sink symbols into your dimensions. The project that I'm going to use is this flange bearing. This is our first official time to see it in this book, but we have, if you've done any of the extra credit projects in chapter four, you might have seen some counter bores and counter sinks. Um, what I'm going to be showing you is the counter sink right here, how to get that symbol and all the additional text. And then when we come over here, how to get the counter bore symbol and the depth symbol that goes with that. So I've got a copy of this project down here. And when we do it, now notice that in this, in both cases, I've got diameter 1.5 and diameter 2.5, but the arrows are pointing to the larger of the two. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my dimension on the larger of the two. Because it's a large diameter, I have the arrows on the inside. So I'm gonna come down to this drawing here and make sure that I'm on my large radii so that the arrows go on the inside. And I'm going to click on that larger of those two circles. Bring it right back out here. Now that I've got that dimension, we are not going to just put text above or text below. We're going to actually edit this dimension. So double click on the dimension itself. You notice how I have a little cursor right there. Do you see it blinking? That's where my cursor is. So if I press enter, I'll get a line right above. So I did the up arrow to get above that text. And right now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and type in all the text that I need. So I need a diameter 1.50. I can type percent percent C. That gives me a diameter 1.50. And then I press the down arrow. I'll do space, capital X, space, 82. And I need the degree symbol. So percent percent uh, D for degree. The difference, how I always remember that, I don't know how you remember it, but my little trick is I give, we always give a diameter for a circle. So I think to myself, when I need a diameter, I type C for circle. Diameter and circle are kind of synonymous for me. So uh, diameter is percent percent C, percent percent D gives, gives you the degree symbol. Uh, if you ever forget though, I'll come back over here. If you pull down this at symbol, there you go. You can just click here for degree or click here for diameter. It also reminds you what you can type. So I'm going to go ahead and get to the front, right in front of that 2.50. And this is where I need to add in my symbols. Click on that same symbol, pull down, and I'm going to go to other. It pulls up a character map. My character map pulled up on my other screen, so I have to slide it over here. Um, and you do want to set the font. So it's got a lot of fonts to choose from. You're going to set the font to GDT. If you are running AutoCAD right now, which you obviously are if you're in AutoCAD doing this, um, if you're running AutoCAD, this will automatically give you, um, you will automatically have a font called GDT, short for Geometric Dimensioning and Tolerancing. If you look on, it's almost the last line, technically not the last line. There is one little guy down here, but I always kind of picture it the last line. Uh, there's my counter bore, counter sink, and depth symbol right next to each other. So I'm gonna go to counter sink, select, copy. I'm gonna come back to my drawing. Control V will paste, or you can right click and say paste. And so I've got my uh, counter sink. I've got it all filled out. Close the text editor when I'm done. That looks good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. And notice I've got a counter bore with a depth of 0.125. I am pointing to the larger of the two circles, but I'm pointing with my arrow on the outside because this is not a large diameter. So I'm gonna come over here and go to small radii. And these are all dimension styles that I've already set up. I'm gonna do diameter, click here. There's my diameter of one. So I'm gonna double click that. And I'm gonna type in two capital X with spaces in between, diameter 0.75, so percent percent C 0.75. And I'm gonna go ahead and I've got a diameter of one, and then I'm gonna go ahead and point, type 0.125. Now I can come over here and just, I'm just using my arrow key to get uh, where I need to be. I'm gonna click on symbol and I'm gonna go to other. Uh, if I do it this way, that will pull up a new character map. If you happen to have your character map already open, if you notice down at the bottom of my screen, I still have my old one open. I'm going to just backspace over that. It would just open a new one if you did that symbol other right now. 
uh, select and copy. So there's my counter bore, control V. It does push it down to a new line, so I'm just going to press backspace to get it there. And then I've got my depth symbol. Let me go ahead and back up that one. Select this, copy, come over here, and I'm going to put in my depth symbol. That's it. Um, you can uh, just click out of it or click um, uh, the little check mark in your text editor and it gets you out. One thing I want to point out, and you probably noticed that I typed all of the text in to begin with, I do want to show you what will happen if you don't type the text before you uh, go. We want all of our text to match, so we want it to be in that font. But um, if you type in your symbol, so let's go over here and let's just copy this. If you type in your symbol first, and then you type in 0.125, look what happens. The rest of your text comes in in that Arial, or I'm sorry, in that GDT font. And when we close the text editor, you can see the difference, those two next to each other. You definitely don't want that. You want all of your text to look the same. The only thing that should be in that GDT font is your symbol itself. So just be sure to not let that happen. And to do that, I just type everything that I need, and then I just go in and pop in my symbols uh, as needed. All right, so now you know how to do the symbols for a counter bore and a counter sink.